Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate still images in Premiere Pro 2021. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this world map. So I've got a map of the world here. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description so you can download it. And I've also got this planes design here. So I'll put a link to that also in the YouTube description so you can download the plane objects as well. So let's go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. And the first thing we'll do is grab this AI file and the map. So when you download the zip file for the cartoon planes, it will be an AI file and a, um, a vector based file, but we want the AI and the world map. Let's drag them into the projects here and we'll take the world map. But before we do that, let's right click in here and go to new item and let's create a uh, color mat here. And in the color mat, we're going to set the width and the height to 1920 by 1080 and we run it at 25 frames a second, square pixel, click OK. And then we're just going to set it to black and click OK. And then click OK here and drag that onto the timeline. So we've got a color mat here at 1920 by 1080. Now we can take the world map and drag that onto the timeline and it will sit nicely within the frame. So let's take these two objects and we'll drag them out so they make 10 second duration. So let's set it to around 10 seconds. I think we'll be good. Something like this. Let's take the planes and drag that onto the top here. And we want to crop out one of these planes. We need to decide which one do we want to use. Let's click on the planes. Uh, click on the plane object here on the timeline and you can click on position and then you can drag the planes to see which one you want to use so you can use any of these i think uh, in this tutorial we use this top one so we want to crop this out you could do that in photoshop first if you wanted but we're just going to use the tools in here so we're going to go over to here and type in crop so we type crop and we drag that onto the vector images here right drag that onto here now you've got left right and top and bottom here so we can drag these handles to crop out the image so we'll drag this one across here, 34, and the right one, we'll also set it to 34. In fact, we need to reduce that slightly, so it'll be set to around 29. And then we can crop from the bottom. Let's just crop from the bottom, and we'll set that to 70. So the top will leave at zero. And in fact, we can adjust the top slightly. We'll set it, yeah, we'll leave at zero, 34, 29, and 70. So now we can just see the plane on its own. Let's go ahead and click on the, um, the position here and when we click on position there's this little blue dot this is the uh, registration point or the rotation point you can think so we want to drag that towards the center of the plane it doesn't have to be perfect but towards the center of the plane because we'll rotate the plane from this uh, point here right this little point here so let's um let's go ahead and scale down the plane so we'll click the scale tool and scale it right down to be quite small and I'm based in London, so I want to start my journey from London. So let's go ahead and rotate. So let's click the rotate button. We're going to rotate it around. So you can see that it's facing sort of this direction. And then we can click on the position tool. And then we can click on the plane and just move it over London. So if you want to start from a different location, just pick any city or wherever you want. Uh, and just think about the destination, right? So I'm going to go from London, fly all over Europe and Asia, and end up in Australia. So I want the plane kind of pointing in this direction. If you're starting up here, then you really want to point the plane maybe in sort of this direction, right? So think about that. Now, what we want to do is add keyframes because we want to animate the plane. So we want to ha have it fly across the sky and we want to change the position, the scale and the rotation. So we're going to click on the little stopwatches here, three of them. You can see the little three stopwatches. These add keyframes at the beginning. So make sure your timeline is at the very beginning first and then click on the stopwatches to add keyframes. We're going to drag this handle all the way across so it fits the full duration of the content below. And then we'll move across to three seconds. So how do we know three seconds? We can just keep an eye right here on the timeline and we'll move it across three seconds. I can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to adjust by frame as well. So this is bang on three seconds and we're going to click the little dots here. These little dots add extra keyframes for each one of these elements right for the position rotation and scale so now what we want to do is move the plane so we'll click on position click on it and then we can just drag the plane and maybe we'll move it to sort of around here let's say we move it to around here somewhere like this and because of the, the the line is kind of like this so we want to rotate the plane a little bit but we want to scale it first so let's scale up the plane so imagine it's taking off and it's, it's gaining height right so as it gains height it's going to get bigger and we just want to rotate it slightly around or this direction right and um, 
that's it and the scale and the position is now being set so as we move back we can see sort of the plane maybe at the beginning we should really rotate the plane a little bit more so it's more on this sort of blue line angle so just go to the rotation and then just adjust it so the plane is kind of uh, following that line right now it will look a bit more sensible that the plane is flying like this and we want to now move to six seconds so let's scrub across the timeline you can use either this tool down here or the timeline tool up here and we'll move to six seconds is right here you can see six seconds here and we're going to add a position uh, let's cancel that we're going to add a keyframe here position rotation uh, scale and rotation here so we want to rotate the plane slightly um, so let's just remember we're going to finish off in Australia down here somewhere so let's just rotate it slightly towards this direction and then we'll click on the position let's drag it towards here somewhere like this around here and maybe we'll scale it up slightly right just so there's some difference in here so now we can see our plane is flying like this and we're going to end up in Australia so let's go all the way to nine seconds so nine seconds and we're going to leave like one second at the end in case you want to do a cross dissolve or some sort of transition at the end so let's take uh, nine seconds and we're going to add a keyframe here let's add a keyframe for the position scale and rotation and we want to now just go to the position drag it i think sydney somewhere over here don't quote me on that i'm pretty sure you guys know geography better than me but i will rotate it so it's kind of following this blue line right the rotation we want the plane to follow the blue line and then we just need to scale it down let's just scale it right down and this is where our plane will land in some sort of uh, airport in australia so what we can do is um let's just go back to the beginning and click the play button and now you can see the plane animated this still image flying over and you could add some sound effects and stuff a bit like you know the old indiana jones films where you've got the plane flying across something like that that was kind of the idea this is obviously a more basic version but we just want to learn how to manipulate and and change the the rotation the scale and also the position of the plane and this could be any object right it doesn't have to be a plane doesn't have to be a map it can be anything that you want it to be so one thing we'll do is select all of the keyframes and we're just going to right click on them go to interpolation here and set it to auto bezier and that will just smooth out the animation a little bit so when we click play now it will start off slow fly over keep going and then it will kind of slowly gradually land like this okay so that's how you go about animating images in adobe premiere pro this is a nice simple tutorial but you can create many different animations you could have lots of different pictures in here of different objects you've got to be a bit creative right think about it a little bit when you're doing your your workflow okay let's minimize this i hope you find that tutorial useful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so you can access over 600 video tutorials and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial Thank you.